In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and a communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning to you all. And you're all welcome to Mass. And this is 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And our Mass is being offered for the happy repose of the souls of Mary Coburn and Annie Rogers. Coming together as God's family with confidence, we ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy in us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy in us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Show favour, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith and charity, they may, they may be ever, be, they may be more ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. First reading, a reading from the Book of Wisdom. There is no God other than you, who cares for everything, to whom you men have to prove that you never judged unjustly. Your justice has its source and strength. Your sovereignty over all makes you lenient to all. You show your strength when your sovereign power is questioned, and you expose the insolence of those who know it. But disposing of such strength, you are mild in judgment. You govern us with great lenience for you have only to will, and your power is there. By acting thus, you have taught a lesson to your people, how the virtuous man must be kindly to his fellow men, and you have given your sons the good hope that after sin you will grant repentance. The word of the Lord. Response, Oriel Sam. The response is, O Lord, you are good and forgiving. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend the sound of my voice. All the nations shall come, to, shall come to adore you, and glorify your name, O Lord. For you are great, and do marvellous deeds, you who alone are God. But you, God of mercy and compassion, slow to anger, O Lord, abounding in love and truth, turn and take pity on me. Second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. The Spirit comes to help us in our weakness, for when we cannot choose words in order to pray properly, the Spirit himself expresses our plea in a way that can never be put into words. And God, who knows everything in our hearts, knows perfectly well what he means, and that the pleas of the saints expressed by the Spirit are according to the mind of God. The word of the Lord. The Gospel Acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our mind so that we can see what hope his call holds for us. Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus put a parable before the crowds. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who, who sowed good seed in his field. While everybody was asleep, his enemy came, sowed down all among the wheat, and made off. When the new wheat sprouted and ripened, the darnel appeared as well. The owner's servants went to him and said, Sir, was it not good seed that you sowed in the field? If so, where does this darnel come from? Some enemy has done this, he answered. And the servant said, Do you want us to go and weed it out? But he said, No, because when you weed out the darnel, you might pull up the, the wheat with it. Let them both go till harvest. And at harvest time, I shall say to the reapers, First collect the darnel and tie it in bundles to be burnt, then gather the wheat into my barn. The Gospel of the Lord. I like to look at the Psalms and see what they say, what they have to say to us. And today's Psalm, Psalm 85, emphasizes the fact, you who alone are God. It also emphasizes the uniqueness of God. And one area in which this uniqueness is very apparent is judgment. As it says in our first reading, from the Book of Wisdom, God can claim to have never judged unjustly. We, for our part, have to admit that judging unfairly, we do so on occasions. As humans, we also have a tendency to rush to judgment and make rash judgments. Like the servants in today's gospel parable, we are quick to decide which plants are wheat and which plants are weeds. Only at harvest time, when the plants are fully mature, can that judgment be made properly. The author of today's psalm does not profess to be innocent of wrongdoing. He knows he is a sinner, but would much rather face the judgment of God than the judgment of people. He knows that God is good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. He asks God, who is slow to anger, to take pity on him. The psalmist is not giving God reasons to be lenient. Instead, he praises God by saying, All nations shall come to adore you and glorify your name, O Lord. This shows that the psalmist really puts his trust in the one true God, knowing that he will be judged wisely and not unjustly. Let us always put our trust in God, especially in bad times and the good. You alone are God. We'll stand now and profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and the seat of the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As a frail and weak people, we bring our petitions before our Heavenly Father, who in his mercy and love wants us to be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. We pray for our Holy Father, the bishops of the Church, priests and religious. May they always work for the good of all people under their care, being especially aware of the poor and less privileged. 
Lord, hear us. We pray that as a parish community, we may recognize the goodness in each other, show charity to all we meet, and refrain from judging or condemning the wayward. Lord, hear us. We remember especially those who have lost their way and are feeling the pain of loneliness, anxiety, and rejection. May their hope in the mercy and love of God be restored. Lord, hear us. We remember the sick, the housebound, and those who are suffering. May they be encouraged and their lives blessed in the knowledge of God's love for them. We bring all the sick to Jesus' prayers through, Ma through Mary's prayers. And as we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We pray for all who have died. And we remember and pray for Mary Coburn and Annie Rogers and Olive O'Connor who died during the week. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. And for a moment or two in silence we pray for our own needs. Lord, hear us. On your mass leaflets, at the bottom of the page, is the prayer to St. Joseph. And we'll say that all together now. Just at the bottom of the page, inside. God, our Heavenly Father, grant the... And so we pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, the sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion of the waywardness that, that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as with end we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. In song, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, the clergy, and all your people. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her spouse, Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Bridget, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray now with confidence to the Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your Church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter the my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. For Holy Communion, if the body of the church would come down to the front, and when we finish there, the minister will go that side and I'll go that side.
The Lord, the gracious, the merciful, has made a, memo a memorial of his wonders. He gives food to those who fear him. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Amen.